Okay, God bless you, people of God. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Uh, we thank God for the blood of Jesus, the redemptive blood of Jesus Christ. Today is the end of the Feast of Passover and also the celebration of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Both the Feast of Passover and the resurrection celebration are all the same. Um, not just the same, but the Feast of Passover pointed to the blood of Jesus, the redemptive blood of Jesus Christ. When the Lord asked the Hebrews in Israel to put the blood of the lamb without blemish on their doorposts and their window posts, he was also pointing to the blood of Jesus Christ that will be shed, you know, thousands of years, in, 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 you know, coming, and which was fulfilled in Christ because Jesus died on the Passover day. You know, be, um, before I continue, I want us to, you know, because this feast of the Passover um, is also a time, a season of celebration, and today is also a season of celebration. Um, this feast of Passover that is ending today um, is ending with, you know, presentation of our firstborn sons unto the Lord and the first fruit offerings. You know, we don't present our sons empty-handed. I want us to sing this song of praises before we continue. It reminds me of our um, celebration, our uh, harvest celebration back home. Let's rejoice in the Lord. This is how we do harvest time giving back home. I just
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Um, the reason why I have to play that song, the reason why I have to play that song is because of the Passover feast ends up with Harvest Thanksgiving. The presentation of our firstborn sons as reflected in that present our firstborn to God at the end of the Passover. We present gifts to them because the God said that we should not, we should not bring our sons empty handed. Now let's begin. We know that the Lord said that the Passover feast, um, which pointed to this um, celebration, resurrection celebration, was God said that it is to be celebrated throughout our generations. Even though the Jews continue to celebrate it, it is the feast that is meant for all generations, both the Jews and Gentiles. Even though that because of the improvisation of Emperor Constantine on Christianity, he, in, he introduced this um, Easter celebration. But it is actually the feast of Passover that the early church celebrated. And God wants us to continue to celebrate because it is a season of blessing. It is a season of divine visitation. It is a season of presenting. It is one of the appointed seasons of meeting with the Lord. Passover celebration is the beginning of the year. According to the word of God, God said to Moses that this shall be the beginning of your year. The beginning. And because it's the beginning of the year, it is a time we present to God the harvest, the harvest of the our first fruits. In Jewish, something is either the barley harvest or whatever harvest they have. There is a harvest that goes on when I was back home. They, that the harvest that takes place at this season, the early harvest, it could be I don't know whether it's okra or, or um, some things that we we that we harvest during the spring it could be corn and stuff. So when we bring this harvest unto the Lord, the Lord said we should bring our firstborn sons unto him and we should not bring them empty-handed. We bring them with the, um, the face fruits of our harvest unto the Lord, into the presence of God. That's why I played that song earlier. You know, it reflects the harvest season. Now, the Feast of Passover is a season of blessing, is a season of renewal, is a season of recognizing what the Lord did for us through the blood of Jesus Christ. When the Hebrews celebrated the Passover season in Egypt, we saw the power of God, you know, the power of resurrection release. We see the, res the power of the resurrection released for the deliverance of the Hebrews. And that is what God did when he raised Jesus from the dead. He released the power of resurrection. You know, the power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The same power that delivered Hebrews from slavery. So the death of Jesus Christ brought unto us the resurrection power. They said uh, that we may know him and the power of his resurrection. So when the blood was, when the lamb, Passover lamb were killed in Egypt and the people of Israel uh, the people of God, they partook of the Passover meal, you know, uh, which is, uh, consists of the bread, the unleavened bread, which represents the body of Jesus. The unleavened bread represents the blood of Jesus, uh, the body of Jesus that was broken for us. So they ate this unleavened bread for seven days. And during the time of the feasting of the feast of unleavened bread, which is supposed to last on seven days, which is ending today, we were asked to search our houses of anything that is made of yeast or anything made of, um, so like yeast, like baking powder, like bread that was made with yeast. All these things we got them rid. We got rid of them from our houses, you know, during this feast of a living bread. And also, we spent these seven days that are just ending today to search our lives of any yeast. Paul said that the Christ, our Passover, is sacrifice. Let us celebrate the feast, not with living of malice. You know, we search our lives from any bitterness. We search our lives from anything that will hinder the glory of God. 
The word of God said, uh, Isaiah said, make the crew path of the Lord straight. You know, we begin to make the crew path because of the revelation of glory. Because for the glory of God to be revealed in our lives, we are celebrating the feast of Passover and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ anyway, you know, because it is the season of divine visitation, the season of blessing. In Egypt, when they celebrated the feast of the Passover, the word of God said that when God delivered the house of Israel, the house of Israel from Egypt, there was no feeble person among them because they ate the Passover meal. The Passover meal, the living bread that represent or living bread that represented the body of Jesus Christ, and the wine that represented his his blood. And the blood of the lamb were placed on the door and the, the token of the blood of Jesus. The blood of the lamb was a token of the blood of Jesus Christ. And it was presented on the doorpost and the window post out the door. And when that day, then God sent judgment into Egypt. So when we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, or this feast of Passover, we are expecting the move of God to deliver. We are expecting the move of God to save, to deliver, to redeem. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Thank you, Jesus. We are celebrating the power of God to save us. And God, this season is appointed time, one of the appointed circle of blessings in which the Lord moves mightily through the power of resurrection after we have made our crew pass straight because for the glory of God to be revealed we have to always search our lives of any living we have to always search our lives to release you know to present ourselves as living sacrifice unto the Lord holy and acceptable unto the Lord so when the people of Israel when they when they observed the feast of Passover, the Lord moved mightily. But then, the the another thing the Lord did, apart from saving them, in apart from sending judgment upon Egypt, in which the angel of death passed through the Egypt and killed all the firstborn sons of Egypt. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Repo sanda ya kapa makuri, yeba barima zente ya kapa masanda li kapura ba. Repo ma sende ya rekapu zenta li kapura ba. Ye gebo ma shende ya rekapu ma zenta. When the angel of death was passing through Egypt, killing all the firstborn sons of animals and human beings of Egypt. Repo sende ya rekapu zenta. Rima sende ya rekapu zenta. Because of the token of the blood of Jesus on the doorposts and the window posts of the house of Israel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The people were saved. When I see the blood, I will pass over. And the plague will not come upon you. That's what the blood said. Now, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Another thing the Lord did was he plundered Egypt of her wealth. Ask the house of Israel, go to your neighbor, borrow, 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 borrow gold and silver. Borrow all these things. They were giving them, giving them, because the Lord commanded that they should go and borrow. So they plundered Egypt of their wealth. And the Lord delivered them. We saw the power of the blood. We saw the power of the blood of Jesus. We saw the power of the blood. And when they got to the Red Sea, the sea opened because the resurrection power is working. So we are looking at the resurrection power of the blood of Jesus. The, re the power of God to deliver is through the blood of Jesus. The power of God to heal is through the blood of Jesus. The power of God to save from every yoke is through the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank God for the blood. This is the season of blessing, season of resurrection, season of blessing, season of deliverance, season of restoration. For by the shedding of the blood of Jesus, we have remission of sins. And our part is to search our lives and ask God that if there is any blemish in me, cleanse me. Let my life be aligned to you. Let me be a living sacrifice unto you. Let me become that living bread, the unleavened bread. Because the, the word of God said that we should present our lives as living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is our reasonable service. 
that my life be that unleavened bread. Thank you, Jesus. Without yeast, that is without sin. We thank God for the blood of Jesus that speaks for us. Thank you, Father. We partake of the communion of the blood and body of Jesus for our healing, for our deliverance, for internal life. For Jesus said, except we eat the body and drink the blood of Jesus, of the Son of Man, we will not have life. When we partake of this, celebrate this resurrection, and partake of the body and blood of Jesus. We receive healing. We receive deliverance. We receive internal life. For internal life is in Christ through his blood. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.